Okay, so um, I'd like to thank Synthigo for the opportunity to uh, present an update on our uh, recent work. Um, my name is Mark Gurney. I'm a PhD candidate through the uh, Welcome HRB ICAD program based at NUI Galway, and uh, I'm a hematology SPR uh, based at University Hospital Galway. Um, this is an update on our work using CRISPR-Cas9 genome editing to knock down CD38 in primary NK cells and the introduction of a CD38 CAR to enhance uh, acute myeloid leukemia targeting. So CD38 is a multifunctional transmembrane protein with enzymatic adhesion molecule and receptor functions. It is a standout and breakthrough immunotherapeutic target in multiple myeloma. Uh, due to its expression profile, it is expressed um, uniformly and to a high extent on plasma cells and malignant plasma cells, creating a window of opportunity for therapeutic targeting. And daratumumab, the first uh, monoclonal antibody uh, targeting CD38, uh, is now wild, widely used in multiple myeloma therapy. Our work focuses on a, a different hematological malignancy in acute myeloid leukemia, AML is a genetically and clinically heterogeneous disease. And while some patients are cured with standard therapies, relapses are common, uh, often due to persisting leukemia stem cells, which are often chemotherapy resistant. And for many older patients, there are no uh, effective or tolerable treatment options available. CD38 is expressed on primary AML blast cells, but with greater variability and more overlap with normal cell populations when compared to plasma cells. CD38 is one of many antigen targets which are being investigated uh, as CAR T cells, uh, CAR T cell targets in acute myeloid leukemia. CD19 targeted CAR T cells are now well established in B cell malignancies, uh, but it seems that in AML there is no analogous ideal CAR target antigen and there is concern over on-target off-tumor effects, including myeloablation, with many of the targets that are considered. There is also debate over what is the best effector cell for a CAR therapy in AML. NK cells are an important aspect of the graft versus leukemia effect seen with allogeneic stem cell transplant, and this can be a curative procedure for many patients with AML. Alloreactive NK cell infusions have shown clinical responses in AML, uh, however, the early phase clinical trial responses, in broadly speaking, have been short-lived. And recent clinical data emerging on the um, clinical use of CAR and K cells targeting CD19 has shown uh, both promising efficacy and safety. So we think there's a strong rationale for the augmentation of alloreactive and K cell therapies with antigen specificity, with the same uh, concerns, however, over choosing the appropriate CAR target antigens. So in this work, we're looking at CD38 CAR targeting uh, in AML uh, using NK cells, and we're using an optimized affinity CD38 CAR developed by our collaborators at uh, VU University Medical Center in Amsterdam. This would allow targeting of CD38 high populations while sparing CD38 positive but low expressing normal cell populations. It's a second generation uh, CAR using a CD28 co-stimulatory domain. So one major obstacle that needs to be overcome in developing a CD38 CAR NK cell therapy is the CD38 upregulation that occurs with NK cell activation and expansion. This is an example from our own data and a representative donor, and we have seen a mean uh, fourfold increase in CD38 expression using our uh, feeder-free NK cell expansion system, which does utilize IL-2. And this correlates with previous data showing CD38 upregulation with cytokine stimulation and in vivo after uh, viral infections. So with that in mind, we set out to knock down CD38 during uh, NK cell expansion. This would hopefully reduce uh, the fratricide effect which can occur with CD38 upregulation. And we used a, a CRISPR-Cas9 technique in primary NK cells utilizing the Synthigo gene knockout kit version two uh, and introduce the SG RNA Cas9 complexes using an electroporation approach on the Maxite GT. 
And with this approach, we achieved a mean knockdown efficiency of 84% across seven donors. Uh, the representative dot plots are in the top right and our summary histogram uh, on the bottom right. So as I mentioned, CD38 has a variety of functions, including acting as, a, as a, one of many NK cell activating signals, as well as an enzymatic function, which leads to modulation of calcium mobilizing compounds. Loss of CD38 would uh, expectantly lead to reductions in both of these functions. But recent data has emerged to suggest that the increase uh, in NAD after uh, CD38 knockdown has a beneficial effect in uh, increasing resistance to oxidative stress and providing an important cofactor for glycolysis and oxidative phosphorylation. So we first uh, set out to show that our um, CD38 knockdown NK cells retained their cytotoxicity and we didn't find any significant differences between control or CD38 knockdown NK cells in co-culture assays with their primary AML blasts before the introduction of the CD38 car. Later in our expansion between day 15 and day 18, uh, we electroporated both the knockdown and control NK cells with um, affinity optimized CD38 car mRNA or control mRNA. We confirmed car expression using complementary techniques of uh, anti-human IgG, heavy and light chain uh, antibody and biotinylated protein L staining. And then we compared, uh, first of all, in culture alone, the uh, cell death seen with the control NK cells and the CD38 knockdown NK cells after uh, CD38 car electroporation. We confirmed a reduction in NK cell death. Furthermore, uh, looking at the CD38 expression in the residual viable CD38 knockdown NK cells, we see loss of the uh, small CD38 positive population, which had persisted post CRISPR. So this emphasized again to us the fratricide effect that was occurring in that CD38 higher population. And we didn't see any of these differences when a control mRNA was used in place of the CD38 car. Next, we sought to prove that the, uh, CD, that the introduction of the CD38 car was enhancing uh, cytotoxicity against primary AML blasts. And uh, this is depicted here, and we saw statistically uh, greater, significantly greater blast cell cytotoxicity uh, at the higher E to T ratios. Again, using our uh, primary AML samples, we saw a spectrum of CD38 expression, uh, and the degree of cytotoxicity we saw with CD38 car targeting correlated uh, with CD38 expression on the blast cell population. Um, and we think the additional variability within this assay likely reflects donor variability on both the AML side and the NK cell side. So all transretinoic acid or ATRA is um, an important component of therapy in acute promyelocytic leukemia and in general does not form part of treatments for other um, AML subtypes. However, it has been observed that there is a consistent effect of upregulation of CD38 uh, and this is due to um, the presence of a retinoic acid response element in the first intron of the CD38 gene. So again, we set out here to augment the effect of our CD38 car and K cells by pretreating samples with ATRA. And at 48 hours uh, treatment with 10 nanomolar ATRA, we saw uh, a 4.9 fold increase in CD38 expression. And it varied, but as you can see, we did see an increase in CD38 expression uh, with each sample tested. And then we repeated our cold culture assay using our CD38 knockdown, uh, CD38 car and K cells. Uh, comparing ATRA pretreated and control samples, and we found an increased cytotoxicity uh, with the ATRA pretreated samples. And this does seem to be um, a CD38 dependent effect, as we were not seeing these differences uh, without CD38 car uh, mRNA. And so, some future directions that our work might take um, we're going to examine effects on leukemia stem cell populations, which are traditionally CD38 uh, negative. And this will help inform uh, potential uh, target options for a dual CAR targeted approach. And with that, uh, I'd like to thank again Synthigo for the opportunity to present our work 
and I'd like to thank all our collaborators across uh, both NUI Galway, uh, VU University Medical Centre in Amsterdam, uh, and our funders and my funder in ICAT. So thank you very much.